Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Dear students we have to read uh, about uh, first order linear differential equations and uh, on the screen I have a message for you the message is uh, subscribe this channel watch and listen carefully all the videos your attention matters uh, participate in teaching learning process learn from uh, all and contribute your share the more you teach the more you will learn ab hum aate hain first order now we come to the first order linear differential equation on the screen we see linear first order differential equation a linear first order equation is an equation that can be expressed in the form this one where uh, an uh, a1x an art x bx depend only on the independent variable x not on y this is the uh, first order linear differential equation and we have to uh, simplify it further to convert it and to the standard form of first order linear differential equation now we come to the second slide we assume that the function a1x a0x and bx are continuous on an interval and that a1x is not equal to 0 on that interval then on dividing by a1x we can rewrite equation 1 in the standard form dy over dx plus px y is equal to qx this is equation 2 where px qx are continuous function on the interval looking to this px here in the uh, previous equation here uh, we have uh, a naught x here we had uh, a 1 x and here we had uh, uh, here we had uh, bx this is uh, uh, a 1 x this is uh, a naught x this is bx we will divide this equation by a 1 x we will divide this by a 1 x so here we will get 1 uh, here a naught x divided by a 1 x which will be replaced by p b x divided by a 1 x will be replaced by uh, q and that form will be the standard form of the first order linear differential equation this is the standard form of first order linear differential equation linear differential equation is the differential equation where uh, the exponent of all the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to an independent variable will be 1 that is there will be no product of the derivatives moreover the there will be no product of the dependent variable with itself that is there will all power exponent of the derivative will be 1 all exponent of the dependent variable will be 1 here the dependent variable is y and independent variable is x here we see uh, linear differential equation uh, read the uh, slide an nth order differential equation is said to be linear if the function this one is linear in the variable y y dash y double dash up to y n minus 1 this prime prime or uh, y double dash all these represent derivatives this is the uh, general form of nth order differential equation it is nth order because of this highest order derivative all these coefficients are function of x there are no multiplication among dependent variable dependent variable is y here we do not see any multiplication of the dependent variable y and their derivatives moreover there is no multiplication or there is no product of the dependent variable y with any of its derivative all coefficient that is a n x a n minus 1 x all these coefficients are function of independent variable x so any differential equation where the exponent of the any derivative will be 1 
and exponent of the dependent variable y will also be 1 then such a differential equation is called linear differential equation. A linear differential equation can be a first order or it can be uh, a differential equation of uh, more than 1. It can be a second order linear differential equation, third order linear differential equation and so on. A differential equation which do not satisfy these uh, properties is called nonlinear differential equation. Now, looking to this slide, here we see linear or nonlinear differential equation, linear and nonlinear differential equation. Differential equations are said to be nonlinear if any product exists between the dependent variable and its derivative or between the derivatives themselves. Here, uh, it means that there will be no product uh, among the derivatives. Similarly, there will be no product among the dependent variable y. So, it is not a uh, linear differential equation on account of this two. Here we see product of the uh, first order derivative. Uh, similarly, this differential equation is not uh, linear differential equation because of uh, y square here we have product of the dependent variable y twice. So, these two are not linear differential equation. The first one is third order uh, and uh, first degree differential equation. This one is uh, the second one is uh, first order and first degree differential equation. Product between here uh, looking to this arrow product between dependent variable themselves hence this is nonlinear differential equation looking to the first one here we have product between two derivatives hence the first differential equation is nonlinear now looking to this slide here we have uh, differential equations from a up to f we have to check which of the following are first order linear differential equations we have to point out uh, which of the given differential equations are first order linear differential equation looking to the differential equation a it is a first order linear differential equation in the variable p p is dependent variable t is independent variable so this is linear differential equation of first order this uh, differential equation b is not linear differential equation on account of y square. On account of this y square, this differential equation is not a linear differential equation. Similarly, the third differential equation is not uh, first order linear differential equation on account of uh, the exponent 2 uh, upon the first order derivative. Uh, uh, looking to the uh, differential equation d, it is a second order linear differential equation second order linear uh, differential equation however it is not first order linear differential equation uh, differential equation e is first order linear differential equation differential equation f is first order linear differential equation so here we have to uh, check which of the given differential equation are first order linear differential equation so this one is uh, this uh, first order similarly Mm. this differential equation is also first order this differential equation is also first order linear differential equation now we come to the next slide here we see uh, uh, first order and second degree differential equation on account of this derivative or this derivative it is first order differential equation and on account of the highest exponent here which is 2. So, it is a first order and second degree differential equation. Moreover, this differential equation is nonlinear on account of this 2 which is the exponent of this uh, uh, derivative of the dependent variable y with respect to x. This is nonlinear first order and second degree differential equation. Here, uh, linear differential equation of second order. Here, we have uh, differential equation of second order, and this differential equation is linear. Differential equation 
which will be linear linear and order will be second order the general second order linear differential equation is this is second order on account of this one it is second order uh, differential equation moreover uh, all the exponent of the derivative is 1 similarly exponent of the dependent variable y is 1 so it is linear differential equation of order 2 this is the equivalent form of the above differential equation here the uh, p x q x r x all these are function of x only the, uh, they are not function of y in case if any one of them is function of y then it will be non linear differential equation working rule to solve a linear differential equation how we will solve a linear differential equation first of all write the equation in the standard form this is the standard form of first order linear differential equation uh, then calculate integrating factor mu x by this formula to find out integrating factor first of all we have to check what is the dependent variable this is y is dependent variable so we will take all those from here other than y this y is here so we will take uh, the variable other than y we will not take uh, y we will take uh, the values other than y and we will use them for integrating factor so integrating factor is e raised to power integral p x dx this is the integrating factor multiply the equation by integrating factor we will multiply this equation uh, on both sides by the integrating factor integrate the last equation after multiplication by integrating factor we will integrate both sides here we have the working rule uh, in uh, in explanation form this one is the standard form of the differential equation find the integrating factor by this formula multiply the entire equation by the integrating factor here we see multiplication uh, uh, multiplication of the differential equation by the integrating factor to the right hand side and here we have this multiplication on the right hand side this is right side this is left side identify the left hand side as the product rule with the two function being the integrating factor and the unknown function y here we see sum of two terms this uh, sum of two term is actually uh, derivative of the two function product of two function oh, one function will be the dependent variable y this y will must be present here and the second function will be the integrating factor which we already uh, calculated and this right hand side on itself now we will integrate both sides and this will cancel each other this uh, left side will again be here and we have to integrate uh, this right hand side and we will take a plus sign with the constant of integration so this is the um, general solution this is the general solution of the above first order linear differential equation now we have to explain this working rule in next uh, uh, in the coming two slides be attentive uh, to the procedure here we see again the same uh, standard form of the differential equation p and q are function of x are constant multiplying both sides by the integrating factor we will multiply both sides by this integrating factor this is the integrating factor this is the left side and this is q is the right side now here we see uh, this and this if we multiply this uh, if we uh, multiply first term with this and second with this and if we analyze we will uh, see that uh, this left hand side after multiplication will be the derivative of the product of these two functions. Now integrating uh, uh, this equation on both sides so we will get this uh, and this will be the general solution of the above first order linear differential equation so remember the procedure 
this is the general solution of the above first order linear differential equation now we further explain this one in the next slide looking to this differential equation this is the left side this is the integrating factor again integrating factor now multiplying uh, every term by the integrating factor this uh, first term is again here and the second uh, factor is again derivative of e raised to the power integral p x d x is equal to p x e raised to the integral p x d x this again here now if we see to this one it is the derivative of the product of these two function this again here integrate both sides cancelling integral sign with d over d x this is the general solution now we come to the uh, example here we have two example this is first example and next will be the last one now here we have our differential equation the first order linear differential equation in the variable x we have to check what variable is present here it is linear differential equation and the variable x the equation is a b equation now this equation is again here here uh, on account of this x we will not take this x but we will take all those other than x power p take all y's power p so uh, here we see p and right hand side is q uh, integrating factor is equal to e raised to power integral p y d y integral p y d y so it will give one over y the solution is uh, the dependent variable into integrating factor is equal to integral of k y integrating factor d y plus c if here is x then uh, here will be d y this x will definitely be here and to the right hand side we will take integral with respect to y this variable whatever it will always be here this uh, independent variable always be here and this dependent variable will always be here so this is the general solution x over y our a y so this y square will be simplified with y integral 2y dy will be equal to y 2y square over 2 2 2 will be cancelled and this will be the answer this is the uh, another uh, example uh, now we have a uh, first a linear differential equation in the variable y this is a different uh, type of uh, linear differential equation in the variable y the previous example was linear differential equation in the variable x this x was uh, here now since the dependent variable is y so this y will be here and this dx will be here and this right hand side qx qx will be here this is the multiplication by the integrating factor now looking to the question uh, this is the um, standard form and it is a little bit more standard form it is of the form this one this differential equation and this standard form are identical now taking p this p is equal to 1 over x this q is equal to x q now integrating factor is uh, integral p d x equal to integral 1 over x d x is equal to log x integrating factor is always equal to integral of p d x putting value these two will be cancelled each other is equal to x now taking the formula this uh, dependent variable will be here integrating factor integral q o x integrating factor d x plus c putting the value x for integral x for is equal to x pi over 5 plus c y x is equal to this one so this is the general solution thank you